here we go. So what is a psychic? Quick answer, core answer. A psychic is someone who can see beyond linear space time as it is currently represented in the 3D dimension, okay? And a good one, a professional one, sees beyond this dimension. So a psychic can see events in the past and in the present and in the future. But just because someone has psychic abilities, that does not mean they have the authority or license or even right to direct anyone on their life choices. Because only you and Spirit God are privy to your divine soul contract. Now, one thing that drives me crazy is when I hear someone say, oh, well, a psychic told me who I was going to marry. Or a psychic said that I was going to have three children. Well, that's, that's absolute hogwash because first of all, it's fascist, like a dictator ordering you how to live your life. And it's also not even remotely according to the laws of the universe. Why? Because actually the laws of the universe are a, a, a structured universe, very structured and perfect with people operating as anarchists, total free will, okay? So, a professional psychic will say something much more sensitive and diplomatic, unobtrusive, allowing you the ability to exercise your free will, such as, I see an intense relationship on your horizon with the person whom you may consider as a potential life partner, or I see multiple child energies around you. I feel motherhood energy in your immediate future. This is a much more accurate and responsible prediction that allows the individual then, what? To express their free will according to all these life events that they may experience. For example, maybe that person doesn't even want children or more importantly, what if their soul contract involves losing the child in a miscarriage? It is not the role of the psychic to tell you how to live your life. You are set. What is in place, the magic, the rules of the universe, what you must be governed by knowingly are the big pillar points of your destiny chart according to your soul contract, such as where are you going to be born? What country? Male, female, whatever. The big milestones you choose to experience in this human incarnation as you name yourself, whatever that might be. Whether you're going to experience famine or disease or a car accident. Whatever the challenge you sign up for to study in earth school, you're here to treat it kind of like a ride at Disneyland. You must experience this dimension as impermanent. We're here to experience dream life. You are literally here in a dream state. So when tragedy and challenges appear in earth school, you'll realize and be caught up in the higher vibrational frequency of knowing that, <sighs> breathe deep, I am in a dream and I have total choice of how I respond to this event because it isn't even the full story. It's just the dream. I am simply in a small chapter, many, many microsecond chapter of a person who has incarnated and I, like a ray of sunshine, am shining my energy from spirit God, like the sun, and therefore I am part of it, but I am so much more. And remember, you wrote this story. And now, in this moment in time, you're peeling back, certainly with this quarantine, you're peeling back all the layers of the onion that is you, all of the masks that you have worn up to this point in your incarnation as so-and-so. And now, it's anarchy. You have total free will of how you respond in a magical way. This crisis that is global and very surreal, you can either make it a magical mystery tour of revelation and transformation based on a new paradigm, a new reality that we are creating, or you can feel and focus on the destruction 
the tearing down, the dismantlement, the corruption, the death. It's totally up to you. And then you choose where you want to put your energy and how you want to activate your skill set that you came with in the toolbox when you were born here. And now you get to apply this experience to the new global awareness that I as a psychic saw in the hieroglyphics of the pyramid of Giza 43 years ago when I was only 20 years old. So, let's go back to the original question. What is a psychic? A psychic is a person who can see beyond the linear time of past, present and future as it is in the 3D dimension, but it's just something someone can do by like carrying a tune. But being a psychic by no means dictates their understanding of your soul contract, and it doesn't even make them a spiritual person. Your soul contract and your divine truth is only between you and spirit God. Okay? 